He always provided us with a home, but he, when we moved up here, we couldn't get mortgages, so we lived in trailers, but he kept wanting a home again. So he asked for this house. And how long ago was that when he first started talking to the governor of Iowa? We, we must have tried about five years or so. We went into Flagstaff first, and they turned us down because we weren't landowners, so they said that we couldn't get a house built. And now, am I correct to say that uh, Navajos can't own their own land? No, they're just uh, assigned to us for a while, leased to us. They're to leased, us. and so you had the problem with being able to mm -hmm. build a, a permanent structure yeah. on land that you mm -hmm. don't own, so you're in that. Yeah, but they've kind of changed it now so that they say that we, we have the lot. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you do have the lot now? Yes, we okay. do have the lot, and we're able to will it on when we go. Right. And then there was a point where they agreed to provide the materials for the yes. home, and that's what was dropped on your yes, front yard, a, basically? Yes, it was a kit. Okay. A home kit. And uh, so that was just basically a pile of lumber and tubing and, right. and plumbing, right? Nails and, and the cement. Okay. And, and then what did you do there to look for help? To, to how the, what, were your, what were your thoughts? I mean, Merrill's not a contractor, I and mean, you're obviously not a construction worker. <laughs> so, so what was that process? What were you we thinking? We called around to our friends and some of the younger kids, and they came and helped us. Okay. But, of course, we had to pay them a little bit of something for unloading. And there was no assistance available from the government to be able to provide the labor to build the property? No, we had to hire people to come, and some of them volunteered. Okay, and then I believe that at the point you got to the foundation where that was able to be built to some degree, but then you came into problems with being able to build the actual structure itself? Yes. And that's where I believe Robert Bowman came in? Yes, then Robert came in. <laughs> okay, and I... I believe it was the fact that his son had discovered, Craig had discovered an article in Flagstaff, in the Flagstaff newspaper, and he heard about it and that's, shared it. That's what he's told us. Uh, it's pretty simple, really. My brother and I were having breakfast in Flagstaff, and I picked up a Navajo Observer just to read it, and I uh, saw the, the headline on it was, Navajo Code Talker Desperately Needs a House, so I just started reading into the article, and saw the lumber package and the picture in the newspaper, uh, that is dropped here on the property and uh, instantly thought that that's not right. Uh, no one was building the house for him and I talked to Justin about it and we decided to wait until dad came up and talk to him about it and see if we can go out and build this house. So we got home, gave it to dad and he looked at it and he says, you want to do something about this? And I said, yeah. And uh, we ended up calling the newspaper the next day and let them know that we were going to come build their house and build it for free, free of charge. And uh, they called us back instantly. We ended up meeting the family, Merrill Sandoval family in uh, Flagstaff at one of the restaurants that evening. And then drove out here and saw what they had for foundation work and where the lumber package was and 
what it was going to take to build it. And uh, we all just came out here that same night and looked around for the sewer and the water outlets and all that stuff to see if we can build it. And came back what the following weekend yeah. and brought some friends and family from Phoenix up, and we just started building the, building the house. Puts life in perspective, and that you, there really are angels on the world in the world, and it's it's wonderful. It's just a wonderful feeling that somebody can do this for us. When you saw that somebody from the outside, from outside the nation, came in to help, uh, did you see that it was able to pull in some of the community, some of your, uh, some of the other Navajos to start helping? Yeah, right away we started to get response and. Um, old students from where my mom was a secretary at the school they came and they offered to help and there was um, other people that you know they made themselves available and they're showing up and and i know i know it's just the beginning it's the beginning of stuff to happen ahead of us things like this when it's good it really does work out it kind of just takes on its own its own characteristic and take off I think and I think there's more to come out of this. So you're hopeful? I am. I, I'm always hopeful and I always think of the best. One of the things that were in, was inspiring to us also was the help that we had from the community and the number of people who in the community had helped us but what happened was it came together and all the construction crew out here the ladies, the women in the in the family came together and, and put on big feast. I put on about 10 pounds with some good Indian fry bread and some native uh, foods and uh, the ladies just did an outstanding job and we didn't have to worry about that at all. We just came here, did the work and they fed us well. And how does that make you feel about somebody outside the reservation of the Navajo Nation coming in to, to help your father well first of all I'm I'm really I really think we're blessed to receive such help from such a beautiful person in Craig and his father Robert Bowman and um, I really appreciate what they've done and it just happened like that overnight and mom and I we we didn't uh, well we cried a little bit and that's it and here we are. They've gone so far in one half a day again. And they're coming back and they're telling us when they were going to finish it. And we still don't know how to thank them. And, but, uh, but they're our friends. And it took a friendly person. 200, 250 miles away to come up to help. <laughs>